The U.S. Army and the Department of Homeland Security have developed a virtual reality training game to simulate active shooter situations in schools. Intended for teachers and first responders, it leads you through classrooms and hallways as children run and scream for help. There have been more than 250 school shootings in America in the past five years. On average, that's nearly one a week. Already in 2018, there have been two reported incidents involving a firearm in school. And nearly one third of all mass shootings in America since 2000 happened at schools. Here's a brief reminder of some of the deadliest. And over to our guests now discussing whether the new school shooting simulator will help to curb gun violence in schools. We have to really understand that we do live in a day and an age when children are going to have to understand this at a younger age than we would have liked, than we were probably raised with. And, and because of that, um, you know, it is good to utilize technology in order to train them to, to either defend themselves against it or defend others against this and just to be ready for it. Because sometimes uh, the worst things will happen when children or those in a situation have absolutely no idea how to handle what is happening. It provides teachers with at least some information in order to prepare in the event that there actually is an assault upon their school. And what that does say is it assumes that the assaults will come. There will be more assaults. And dare I say this, there will be. There will be more shootings. There will be more mass shootings in schools across the United States. We have seen this, and there's nothing that tells me that that's simply not true. Will technology and video games make the situation safer? I don't know. I hope it will. But here's what I do know. I know that we have seen mass shooting after mass shooting after mass shooting of children in the United States. We're working in the schools with young students uh, to help them understand the modern threats at that time and to better prepare with that, to know exactly what to do in the case of the current modern threat uh, happening upon their school. In this case, it is school shootings in the United States. And so, you know, teachers, first responders being able to take parts in these simulations is going to help them better train their students for what to do in the event of a school shooting. This is, to some degree, an acceptance that that is the ongoing reality and that the only true response, the only thing that the U.S. can do at this point is simply to prepare teachers for what is coming rather than to find a legitimate alternative to stopping those actual shootings themselves.